you mentioned police, prisons. Uh, I know one of your earlier high-profile cases, and this goes back to the early 70s, um, the Attica uprising. You and Dr. Henry Siegel were called in to re-examine the bodies of the hostages. And um, you concluded that the nine hostages, which were p- policemen, correctional officers, they were hit with bullets from friendly fire when the police stormed Attica Correctional Facility to take it back. And those bodies didn't have knife wounds. They weren't dead already. They were actually caught in the middle of that crossfire. Is that correct? Absolutely correct. It was it was nine uh, nine workers. They were mostly uh, correction officers. Yep. Who were shot? There were 40, 43 people died. It was actually eleven finally died. Two people died later on, uh, in in the hospital. So there were forty three deaths altogether when the police retook Attica back around nineteen seventy one, and. Um, uh, uh, 11, uh, 32, 32 were inmates who were, who were shot, uh, by the police. The non, the, the non-inmates, the, the hostages were, had been blindfolded and were standing in a, in a back area, uh, uh the ones who were shot, um, and were blindfolded, and they thought that that would pre- prevent the guards from retaking it. And in the shooting, they were shot, most of them by buckshot. Uh, uh, inadvertently, they, the, somebody, one of the uh, 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 police officers shot at a, um, a prisoner and missed, and the buckshot went into this group of um uh, 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 of uh, double O buckshot in a group uh, of um, uh, guards, and uh, nine of them died with bullet, with buckshot in the head because that buckshot contained about twelve pellets, twelve double O buckshot pellets, each one the size of a thirty two caliber gun, and uh, killed uh, killed uh, the prisoners. When the prisoners were taken out. The blindfolds had come down over the neck, and and the blood. Uh, there was bloody blindfolds over the neck, and the me the media were told that that because the they the guard that the prisoners had cut their necks. The media immediately ran with that, including the New York Times. That the lead story was uh, the hostages' necks were cut by the by the uh, inmates. Uh, the medical examiner in Buffalo uh, saw the bodies and initially said to the, to the press, "No, they were fire. They died from friendly fire." The the uh, commissioner of uh, uh, the uh, prison system was outraged that we all saw that their necks were cut, that this guy is lying. The the Buffalo medical examiner. Was, was was not telling the truth, and they wanted an outside independent expert to come up to to reexamine the bodies, and that's how I got called from New York City. I was the medical examiner, a deputy medical examiner in New York City. I came up, and uh, uh, to examine the bodies and reexamined all of the uh, f- uh, the thirty five about thirty eight bodies, most of the almost all the bodies uh, of uh, of the of the prisoner of the guards. Uh, but I also insisted that I had to look at the prisoners also, because many of them were not shot the way the way they were shot. Some in the back and all uh, that. Um, uh, the um, uh, when I, and I, and I confirmed that the first medical examiner, who said that the um, uh, this the, that none of the none of the uh, guards were killed by the inmates. They were all killed by. Um, uh, by uh, friendly fire, and uh, that uh, the the medical examiner in Buffalo was harassed because he had uh, blamed the uh, uh, 
the uh, police and uh, not the uh, inmates uh, up in Buffalo. But in New York City, they, they, they were kinder to me when I agreed with them. Mm hmm. Wow. OK. Um, by the way, was that your first really high profile case that you worked on? Uh, uh, it would be the 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 most uh, high profile. Uh, yes, in 1971, it was the most high. We had a, a number of deaths in the city of famous people who died, and there'd be newspaper articles. In those days, in those days, the press had uh, people in the medical examiner's office. You know, police reporters who would come mm -hmm. every day to the medical examiner's office, and there was a lot of uh, interest in the fit. We had. Uh, Sean, you're too young to remember this. When I was starting out, there were 15 dailies, 15 newspaper dailies in the five boroughs of New York. Uh, and they, uh, uh, there was a great deal of interest in those days in the different papers uh, for um, uh, 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 deaths, people who, who died. So at that time, they would be local newspaper stories about whichever medical examiner uh, would would uh, have done an autopsy on a famous person. There'd be a write-up and there'd be a little bit of publicity about medical examiners. But this was the first really national story that I was involved with. 